Okay, in this lesson we are going to be working with tables. As we already discussed in previous lessons, Google Looker Studio created this table for us. Actually, we are not going to need this table, so I'm going to remove it. Uh, just click on this table and press delete, and this table will be removed. Now, how can we add another table? We have two options. First, you can go to Insert. If you click on that, you will be able to find Table option here. If I click on that, I will be able to place my table here on this canvas. Again, we will have some table with some values inside, but later on we will change this. This is first way how can we insert table. Let me delete this again. Second way is to click to add a chart option. If you click on that, you will be able to find table for yourself. So let's choose, for example, this simple one for the beginning. If I place it here, also we will be able to see our data. As I mentioned, we don't need these values that are presented here. Channel is maybe nice idea, but certainly we don't need record count for each of these channels. So we're going to remove this. How can we do that? If we go on the right side of the screen, you will be able to see these different options. Let me first show you one also interesting option. If we click on this chart option here, we will be able to change our visualization. For example, instead of table, we can present, for example, this bar chart. We are not going to need this, it's just for demonstration. So, as you can see, instead of table, we have some chart. We are not going to need it, as I said, so we will click on table again. Let's close this and let's continue working. Now, first we can see our data source. As you already know, we imported two data sources. First one is from Google Sheets, it sells data, and second one is from Google BigQuery. If we click on this button here and click again, we will be able to see that this is BigQuery data source and this is sales data and currently we are using sales data. That's perfect. Now, let's see what columns we have here. As you can see, we have channel, city, cost of sales and so on. But let's see what can we use in this table. First, for data range dimension, we will leave this. This is order date, so it's completely fine for us. Next, we have dimension. Basically, this dimension contains this channel field. This is field here. And let's see how can we change that field. For example, if we would like to put instead of channel, to put, for example, let's use country. I can just click on that, drag, and drop instead of that value here. As you can see, on the left side here, instead of channel, now we have country. But also, in the metric box, as we can see here, we still have a record count. So, let's change that. Second option to insert field here is to first remove this. And instead of drag and drop, you can just click on this plus icon here. And you will be able to choose your field. Also, you can type here to search that field. Let me find some interesting field. Let's use profit, for example. If you click on that, you will be able to see profit in our table. Also, we can resize this just to be able to see all values. And now you can see profit for each of these countries. That's perfect. We inserted successfully dimension and metric values. So what else can we do with this table? If I scroll down, you will be able to see that we have options to choose how many rows we would like to see per page. Now we have 100. You can choose to be, for example, 20, 25 and so on. But we will leave this option as it is. For now, you can see that we have only 34 rows. If I expand this, I'll be able to see 35 rows. As you can see here. Let's, for example, change this. If I put 10, for example, we will be able to see only first 10 values here. So, this way you can organize how many values you would like to see in your table. Also, you could choose to show this total row. If you click on that, you will be able to see grand total for each of these values. If I expand this a bit, yes, you will be able to see total value. Next is sort. It is also a very important feature in Google Looker Studio and using this sort you will be able to basically sort values in your table. As you can see we are sorting this table by this country column. As you can see here. And now let me choose instead of country, for example, 
I will choose profit, but the important thing is that you could choose any other column, not just these two that you have in your table, but this time I will choose profit. And as you can see, now we have different list of values here. Basically, we are starting with United States, China and so on, and you can see profit for each of these countries. If we, for example, choose instead of descending this ascending option, we will be able to see first country with the lowest profit. And the top country with the biggest profit will be at the end. So it's just up to us what we need to present. Let's leave this descending. Also here below we are able to see data range. Currently we are using this option but later in the course you will be able to see this custom option. And also for filter you will be able to filter your data based on some conditions. But it's also a feature for the next lessons.